Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the CCM Jetspeed FT2 skates against the Bauer Vapor 2X Pros to figure out what are the differences between these two skates and to highlight which one of these skates might be the best one for you to pick up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and preface this video just like the other one by mentioning that this is a very tricky type of video to make because although they are I guess you could say very comparable skates. They come from two different families from two different manufacturers which have completely different features. And one feature might be great for somebody else and another feature might not be so great for somebody else. So this is gonna be a very opinion based video because it's gonna be based on my feedback having spent time with both of these skates to figure out which one I prefer. So please keep that in mind. But before we jump in, comment down below and let me know which one of these skates that you'd pick up and why. As always, starting off with the base of both of these skates and working our way up. When we look at the runners or the blades that are featured on the 2X Pro from Bauer, these feature Bauer's Tuk LS5 carbon, which has that carbon coating on the blade. Now, if we look at this compared to the actual um, blades that are featured on these pair of FT2 skates from CCM, which is the XS1 Black, if we're to compare these head to head, for sure, if we're looking at it from a point perspective, the same way we did with the last video, Bauer's definitely gonna take the lead over here because this is a much higher quality runner than the ones that we see over here. You can see this both visually and also the general performance that you get out of these two runners. These are definitely gonna be a better pick. But something that CCM introduced during this lockdown period that we've all been going through is going to change up the situation a little bit, which is the fact that now all of CCM's elite level skates come with step steel. Now, if you're unfamiliar with step steel, these are the best and highest performing runners that you can get on the market. CCM recently acquired this company. It was a completely separate company, but now it is part of the CCM family. This changes the performance of these skates quite drastically because having essentially the best performing runners in hockey coming as standard with all of your elite level skates is gonna give these guys a very big advantage because Step in general doesn't have a comparison or any other company out there on the market that can compete with the quality and the performance of the runners that Step have. So now if we look at it from the perspective of knowing that all of the elite level skates from CCM now come with these runners, which is the FT2, the AS3 Pro and also the ATK, these are gonna be much more superior than what we see on the Bauer 2X Pros. From there, moving up into the holder of both of these skates, when we look at CCM's holder over here, it's the XS, which has that dial that allows you to switch out your steel without any tools. Now, although Bowers, depending if you're pretty used to using them and you have the tool that comes with the skates inside the box, these light speed edge holders are quicker to be able to switch your steel out Again, if you know what you're doing with them and you're quick enough to do it, but they do sometimes require a tool or a little bit more leverage to be able to get the blade to come out of the holder. Whereas CCMs do not require anything. You can do it just with your fingers. You don't have to have any additional tools or additional leverage to get the runners out. But saying that the LS Edge holders are quicker to get the blades out in some instances, these holders are not as secure or don't as securely fasten the runners or blades as the excess holders. So based on my experience and spending time having used both of these holders, Holders, the access holder, in my opinion, is going to be the better pick. So when we're looking at it from a runner perspective and a holder perspective, one point for the runner and one point for the holder from CCM when we're looking at the runners being step steel and the holders being the excess to kick the video off. Now from there, moving on to the outsole of both of these skates over here, looking at the 2X Pro from Bauer. Now this is still using a traditional two-piece construction, meaning it still has a fully composite carbon outsole. The stiffer the carbon composite outsole, the better the energy transfer with the skate, but this is still a two-piece construction, which when you look at companies like True or companies like CCM have switched it all up to a one-piece skate construction. So this is very traditional, but I guess Bauer still feels that this is adequate for the, what they're trying to achieve, which makes it very tricky because I'm not saying that this isn't a great skate, but a two-piece construction when you VS it against a one-piece skate construction is always going to fall short because this is just more advanced technology. It performs better. It's lighter. So that makes it very difficult to not award a point in this area when we look at the outsoles. But of course, because CCM's skate with the FT2 over here is a complete one-piece construction, this one-piece construction eliminates the need for the actual material of the outsole, the glue clips and pins that hold the outsole in place. What that results in is not only a much, much stiffer skate construction because it's one piece, it also means that it's going to be lighter because you've gotten rid of all of those materials that are no longer required because the skate is one piece. So that's going to provide a lighter boot, a stiffer skate, a more responsive skate, and generally the player or whoever's going to be using these skates is going to have a much more direct feel for the ice because there's less material between them and the ice, which is always going to outperform a two-piece skate construction. 
Now, as we move up into the quarter package of both of these skates over here, starting off with the CCM FT2 from the Jetspeed range, this being a one-piece skate construction, you can see that CCM have completely eliminated any facing materials along the sides or non-performance components, which would be, for example, the CCM logo being stitched onto the skate or any other designs and synthetic leathers that might be present on the body of the boot. Even if we look around the eyelets of these boots, you can see that there are no excess materials that don't need to be there. Anything that is on the body of this boot is on there because it benefits the performance of the skate, nothing else. Now, as we move over onto the 2X Pros from Bauer, now, although they have reduced a lot of the unnecessary pieces of material that they stitch onto skates, you can see, for example, with the logo, uh, this design over here has been clearly stitched onto the side of the skate. I'm not saying that this is a massive negative, but what that means is it's added weight, added material that really doesn't need to be there. When you look at the logo over here, you can see that this is effectively effectively sublimated into the actual body of the skate, whereas this one over here is a separate piece of material that's been attached onto the body of the skate. When we look at the eyelets on the 2X Pro skates from Bauer, this is Bauer's integrated injected facing, which as the name states is integrated into the construction of the skate and also attached onto or directly attached onto the toe cap of the skates. Now this is not only to improve the durability of this particular type of eyelet construction, but it's also there to better support your foot and also allow you to have better control over the skates. These are now skates that are targeting those very quick players, those agile players, and this type of eyelet construction is there to essentially aid that type of performance on the ice. Now, when we look at that directly against the eyelet system featured on the FT2s, because this is all one piece, the entire boot is actually one piece, the eyelets aren't separately attached. They're not using a traditional method where it's synthetic leathers and they're attached and stitched onto the body of the skate. The actual boot and the eyelets themselves are all one piece. Again, one piece construction that's gonna benefit the players in having a nice stiff construction. Because of the thermoformable properties of the skate, it's still gonna be able to wrap and contour around the foot, aiding a player with their performance and striding on the ice. Now again, when we look at which one of these types of eyelets is better than the other, this being a traditional two-piece skate construction and this being a one-piece, it's again very difficult for us to be able to award a point. I do really like this injected lacing system. I've seen it several times and I've seen the different iterations that Bauer have made, improving all of the different flaws that it had when it was first launched and it's come a very long way, but it still, in my opinion, doesn't beat a one-piece skate construction. The performance benefits and also the durability and stiffness and also fit that these skates are able to provide currently is still going to be in my opinion much better than what you're getting from the 2x pros from Bauer. Now something that is important to mention with Bauer's injected facing or lacing system that they have is that the fact that these eyelets have t-shapes inside them which help to lock the laces in place while you're doing them up. Now a lot of players do like this but I for one cannot stand that feature and find it actually inhibits me from being able to tie my laces properly. So just having circle eyelets is definitely gonna be the one for me and is one of the other reasons why I definitely feel like this lacing system that is essentially incorporated into the one piece boot construction is gonna be a win. When we're also looking at areas where they are synthetic leathers or extra materials that are attached, if you look at the heel section of the 2X Pros, you can see this entire section over here is essentially a separate piece of material in terms of what the actual skate or the body of the skate is constructed from. But then when we look at the FT2s over here from CCM, you can see the heel section of the skate has absolutely nothing additionally attached to it. It's just the body of the skate. Now, when we look at the rest of the skate's construction, especially when we look at the 2X Pros from Bauer, these feature what they refer to as their Dynaflex system, which essentially is different components of the skates put together to create this new performance system that Bauer have developed, which is the asymmetrical toe cap design, the integrated injected facing, and also the Recoil Pro tongue, which we'll come into in a lot more detail. Now, although CCM doesn't have such a fancy name for the different technologies that they've encompassed on this particular skate here. We're still gonna break them down as we continue to go through the video. Now looking at the toe caps of both of these skates, with the 2X Pros from the Bauer Vapor family, these feature an asymmetrical toe cap, which is definitely something that I'm a big fan of. I like the asymmetrical design because it essentially eliminates any unnecessary voids or space inside the toe cap of the skate, giving the player a much more snug fit. CCM's toe cap in this instance is a more traditional toe cap. It's not described as an asymmetrical toe cap, which means that this will have a little bit more negative space inside the toe box or the toe cap of the skate when we VS it against an asymmetrical toe cap from Bauer. So in regards to points when we're looking at the toe caps of both of these skates, the 2X Pros definitely get a point here because if I had the option, I would always prefer to have an asymmetrical toe cap over a traditional toe cap. 
Now from there moving on to the collar or the necks of both of these skates which feature different types of comfort pads that are essentially there to alleviate any pressure at one point. Now with CCM's comfort pad it's actually part of an injected one piece system that is attached onto the tendon guard of these particular skates which we'll touch on in a minute. But both of these comfort pads are there to alleviate pressure at one point to essentially make you know, skating aggressively, turning tightly, comfortable in either one of these skates. Now actually feeling the comfort pads themselves, this is something that's a big deal for me because I can't think of the amount of times that I've been cut in the high ankle area by being on, my, on the ice for too long and the comfort pads or necks of skates being much harder than you'd expect them to be. This instance over here, CCM's is actually a little bit stiffer than the one that's featured on the 2X Pros from Bauer. So if we're looking at it from a comfort perspective, I would actually opt for the ones that are featured on the Bauer skate rather than the ones featured on CCM's. Now although these these ones are technically going to last longer. I'm not saying they're hard and they're going to hurt your foot. The Bauer ones are much more spongy and much more comfortable in my opinion. Now when we look at the tendons on both of these skates over here, CCM's is a one piece injected tendon. So the tendon guard actually extends into the neck of the skate and also into the first top two eyelets of the boot. This is not only gonna help to add additional durability and also just helping against general wear and tear, it's just gonna be a much more stable and better performing tendon guard than what we've seen over here. Bowers with the 2X Pros in this instance are just an injected tendon. I'm not saying again that there's anything wrong with this, but it's just better technology that we see featured on CCM skate in this instance. Now when we look at the tongues of both of these skates, even looking at it from the camera's perspective, you could probably tell which one looks like the more significant tongue. In this area over here, Bauer definitely takes the lead with their Recoil Pro tongue. Now this particular tongue features Bauer's molded felt tongue with dual injected metatarsal guards. When you just feel this tongue and also when you look at it, it just looks incredibly substantial, protective, but still also allowing a player to fully maximize on their forward flex. It has good comfort and good protection and it's also really big and comfortable. It's just in comparison to this tongue over here, I would prefer to see this one on my pair of skates. So looking at this from a perspective of what tech is featured in the tongue, it's gonna be Bowers that takes the lead in this one. Now, when we look at the technology that CCM are using, it's their metatomic tongue that features molded lace bite protection. Now, aside from this tongue being asymmetrically designed, which is gonna be a big bonus and something that I do wish was featured on Bowers tongue, this asymmetrical tongue essentially allows for a better flex point and better wrapping around the skate. So an asymmetrical tongue will not only allow the player to fully maximize on their leg extensions and strides, wrap around their foot better. It'll also stop from slipping down the sides of the skate as we often see with different tongues. So this tongue being an asymmetrically designed tongue and also offering better wrapping and no slipping because of the way that it's shaped are gonna be great bonuses. But in terms of the general size and comfort that you get from the tongue from the 2X Pro Skates, we're still gonna award the point to Bauer in this area over here. But this is still a great tongue. I just prefer this one. If this tongue was asymmetrically designed as well, it would be probably one of the best tongues that we've ever seen. But like I said, had this been the AS3 Pro and we were looking at the three different tongue options they had, there would have been a little bit more of an argument or a debate to be had in this area. Now next up, looking at the liners of both of these skates over here, starting off with the 2X Pro from Bauer. Now these feature Bauer's LockFit Pro liner with embossed detail. Now aside from this looking very nice, it does also have some functions. It helps to keep your foot essentially locked in place to minimize on any slippage that you have while you're taking strides and skating inside these skates. When we look at the actual foams that are inside these skates, it's Bauer's Aerofoam Pro with memory foam. Now these are gonna be much more comfortable than some of the other skates that we've seen from Bauer in previous generations. And I have to say that the texture that they have inside there with the black lining and also the yellow dots underneath the black lining does look pretty sick. Now moving on to the liners that are featured inside CCM's FT2s from the Jet Speed range. These are CCM's Total Dry Pro Plus liners with dual abrasion protection. So what that is, is if we look at the high wear areas of the skate, you can see that it features synthetic leathers or material over here that's much more harder wearing than the softer material at the base of the skate or at the sides of the skate inside the liners to essentially help the skate's liners last the life length of the skates. These are the areas that essentially get the most abuse inside skates. Now in addition to this, CCM are also using their high performance moisture wicking material so any moisture or heat that enters the skate is going to be helped to be wicked away through the perforational hole that I showed you at the base of the skate. This is something that both of these liners will do. The idea behind that is to keep the skate not only comfortable but free or as free as possible of any moisture and water because it doesn't take a genius to figure out that if your skates are waterlogged every stride you take on the ice is going to be much much more energy zapping or energy demanding so by having good moisture wicking materials and fabrics inside the skate to keep your feet dry and light it's going to aid your performance and of course benefit your comfort while you're on the ice. 
But in terms of which one I would say is the better performing liner or the better performing material inside a skate, I'm gonna give them one one each. It's a very difficult area to say one performs much better than another. So one point to Bauer, one point to CCM in this instance. I typically don't bake my skates. I prefer to just get them and use them and wear them in. I know there's a lot of people out there who would argue that it's much better to bake them, but this is just my personal preference. I prefer to just use the skates as they are. If you looked at it from that perspective, Bauer's one, two, three fit system would have a fit option that was definitely gonna fit my feet better straight out out of the box than what CCM would have straight out of the box. But then when you bake them and you get the contouring and wrapping that you'd get from CCM's one piece shell versus Bauer's two piece with their one, two, three fit, the debate kicks in again. So I think realistically right now, what I'm gonna do is give each of these skates a point each in this area and see how it goes as time goes on. We need a little bit more time with the one, two, three fit system to figure out which one is gonna be much better long-term. But as it stands now, I am again still really impressed with Bauer's new fit system, but it's very difficult to beat the one piece skate construction that has been introduced by CCM and also companies like True as well. The one piece skate construction is always gonna be better than the two piece, which makes this so difficult to try and tell you which fit is gonna be better than the other. Now, when we look at the footbeds of both of these skates, CCM are using the Orthomove footbed, which has these removable pieces of material over here that you can essentially change out to better support your arch type. So this is, in terms of the tech, a better footbed than if we're looking at the dynamic flex footbed over here from Bauer, which is essentially just a regular foam footbed. It has a little bit of a, a stiffer portion as you move your way down into the toe sections of the footbed, but this is a very, very traditional footbed. Um, there's nothing really crazy special going on here aside from the rubber padding around the heel and also the toe area to help reduce any slippage that you get inside these skates. But there's a big argument in hockey in general about which type of footbed is gonna be the better one for you. If you're trying to figure out which one of these two is gonna be the best, the answer is effectively super feet. But we'll go into much more detail about different footbeds in a different video. As always guys, a big thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. These types of videos are incredibly difficult to do because they are so opinion based, but hopefully you've been able to take away the details and also the differences between these two skates in terms of the features and the technology. If there's any other videos that you want us to shoot that are similar to this, please comment down below and let us know. And even if they're completely different, still comment down below and let us know what you'd like us to film next. Make sure that you check out the link in the video description so you can go pick up each of these skates if you wanna pick them up. Whether you're in Europe or whether you're in North America, we'll have links down below. Big thank you to Puckstop, by the way, for making this video possible. But as always, guys, thumbs up the video, subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of the videos that we post. Turn the notification bell on so you're notified when we post a new video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.